What's up everyone and welcome back to another FIFA 19 title update video. In today's video we're going to give you guys the full details on patch 1.06 or pitch notes number five that just officially got released today for PC and will be officially out for console sometimes next week. Now, usually it comes out on a Tuesday, sometimes on a Wednesday. Don't forget to use my tip I give you guys on the patch 1.05 video to kind of help you and download your update while you're away from your console. Put it on rest mode and download that. That way, when you come back to the office or home, you'll be able to jump in into FIFA and play your game right away instead of sitting there and waiting. But of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Also, thank you guys so much for the massive support on the channel. We have officially surpassed 11,000 subscribers. That is unreal support from you guys. So if you're new to the channel and you guys want to see more pro clubs and FIFA content, make sure you guys smash the top button. That will be also appreciated. Let's jump right into today's video. As you guys can see, today we're going to pretty much talk about the update. Now, this update is not that massive at all. So we're going to keep the video, try to keep the, the video under seven minutes. We're going to try. But the first thing that EA decided to do, they decided to nerf shooting again. Now, don't ask me why EA decided to do this. I'm going to give you guys my own opinion as well. If you guys have seen World of JCC this week on FIFA series, a really, really fun series. If you guys haven't subbed to his channel yet, make sure you guys sub to his channel. A very good YouTuber, as everyone knows, for the Pro Clubs community. But also, he releases a lot of really good content in terms of FIFA content in general. This week on FIFA is very fun series to watch. Very interesting. And World of JCC has the biggest, one of the biggest personality in the pro clubs community as well in the fifa community he deserves over a hundred thousand subs easily he should have that but again we'll try to support him make sure you guys go into his channel sub let him know fifa tricks to send you and that will be much appreciated as well but first things he as well as jcc talked about in his previous video and he even used one of my video that uh that i had that i missed a wide open you know a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper on pro clubs and I actually put the shot on target and I completely missed it now you guys can see that on the vid on the uh, right now on the video of course um, Matt HD game I also talked about it pro clubs competitive players have talked about it youtubers have talked about it streamer have talked about it a lot of people have talked about these shot error issues but now EA decides to go on and actually even reduce uh reduce the shot effectiveness especially the first time finesse shots now from now on what EA decided to do, to look on into the into this patch apparently the EA uh, the pro clubs, I mean, not the pro clubs community, the community in general was complaining the first time finesse shots were OP. So they decided to look at lateral quickness. Now, I'm not going to go into details explaining what that is. If you guys want to look at the article, it's in the description. But pretty much what EA decided to do, if the ball's coming towards you, the left of your player, or the right of your player, and then you connect with the ball and it's going towards the net. If you have a player with any type of finishing, it doesn't matter if it's 99, doesn't matter if it's 96, that shot will have a bigger impact after this update. Now, I'm guessing uh, from what I've seen in their notes and I have read, if you have a player with low uh, attribute, uh, finishing attribute, you, there was a bigger error there. But if you have a player with a higher uh, finishing attribute, you might have less error in it. But there's still going to be an error. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing first time finishing. I mean, first time finesse shots. So to keep that, to, to really prevent that, I'm guessing, just take a touch before you take a, 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 a finesse shot. Because if you try a time, uh, first time finesse shot, you most likely will probably miss it. You'll still be accurate, as you guys can see on this picture they pretty much showed us. You pretty much will still be accurate sometimes, but you will miss a couple of them and more often. So before the title update, this is 100 shots taken with adding hazard. The blue lines are shots that are going on target and could be saved or could be end up in the back of the net. The red is completely going off, and I guess in the black is pretty much um, the pretty. I'm pretty sure the black is probably a hit on the target, but probably uh, has a higher potential for saves. This is pretty much preview uh, before the title update. And after the title update, you guys can see there's a lot more red. The blue kind of kind of uh, go towards the middle of the net a little bit more, which most likely will result in a save. So that is just the effectiveness of the time, uh, the first uh, time finesse shots uh, being reduced massively. Uh, the next thing they looked at is skill moves. Now, I'm not sure why Ye is looking into skill moves. Yes, the game skill moves are overpowered, but they decided to buff the elastical skill move. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll, here is a display of what that looks like. Ronaldinho did it in his playing career many, many times. That is one of the skill moves that he is known for. Elastical is a very popular skill move in pro clubs, especially. It's a very overpowered skill move if you're playing against human uh, uh, human defenders, but it's also very effectively, uh, effective effective in uh, Ultimate Team as well. But they decided to you know make the uh, elastical move. When you do an elastical move, uh, the ball will actually be closer to your, uh, to your player, as you guys can see on the video. It's pretty, pretty, I mean, I guess it's a good thing for the game. 
But I think there was a lot more things that Kaden in focused on instead of actually um, focusing on that skill move, uh, which is really not going to change the game massively. Uh, for pro clubs, there is the cam glitch, there is a goalkeeper animation, which still are not aren't fixed, um, and there is also issues with, you know, in general. The, the ball control is terrible, the shot error is bad, uh, the passing is horrible. Uh, here's a video from World JCC that he did pretty much a sweat in a competitive 11 v 11 competitive pro clubs. Oh. oh. No, that's a sweat. That's a sweat. That is a sweat to the back post. I cannot get over this game, man. What can I do about. Oh, there we go. But I'm so tired. There we go. There we go. I've got conclusive proof. I have. Con that's going in my video on Tuesday. Look at the stream. Look at the stream. Why is the bars gone there? What the fuck am I seeing? And his player, you guys can see, he's already aiming to the player, but the ball goes backwards, which is so bad. But they decided to focus on uh, on on scale moves. It, it's crazy what EA are do is doing. It's really, really. I mean, I don't know. I even know how to explain, man. I don't even want to keep going on this topic because it's. I'm really already getting upset. Um, and then to make matters even worse, they decide to go into pro clubs. And what did they add? They add five boots. Instead of changing the gameplay, you know, doing something about the gameplay, you know, fixing the cam glitch, make sure we have pro club stats when we go into our club session when looking at different players in the club, seeing who has the goals and stuff like that. We can't even see that. They didn't do that. They didn't patch any of that. They added five boots and they decided to buff uh, uh, Elastico skill move, which, yeah, I appreciate, but it's not going to change the game for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people might not even use skill moves, so they're not really going to care about that. So, yeah, shooting got nerfed. Elastico skill got buffed. Pro clubs got five boots. And one thing they did change for pro clubs, they also changed the uh, the the um, they changed the progression meter to be more accurate after games. This is something that's been broken for many many seasons, many FIFA's. They said that to fix it, or they did a little change to it, but didn't have half. So hopefully, once this comes out next week for a console, we will test this out and see if anything really changed. But it's really inaccurate, and I still don't believe, it. and I won't believe it until I see it with my own eyes. Uh, but apparently they fixed that. The next couple of things they looked at is goal kick in general and goal kick situations in general. I'm guessing this is to reduce goal kick goals um, in, in, in that aspect. Uh, in goal kick situation, uh, a defending center back will uh, now be uh, positioned closer together. That's one thing they added. And also, uh, if the ball is being contested by attacking and a defender player, the defender player will uh, be more likely to move towards the landing location of the ball. So I'm guessing this is to give the team that is defending the goal kick a higher chance of winning that ball instead of the attacking team in that, in that space. Um, they also addressed the issue with pro clubs where people were spamming the D-pad and going into the goal kick and kicking the ball. Now, this was all over Twitter. It was over Facebook. Uh, you could also do this on PKs. Now, I'm not saying go try it, but it's pretty funny. It looks like a Messi and Suarez go. There is a video from my stream that I did. Uh, me and my friends, and it was hilarious. Here we go, baby. Keep it going, baby. Kick, 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 kick the ball. Kick the ball. Kick the ball. Move it a little bit for me. Yeah, get it closer. Oh, yeah. Kick it, bro. Come on. Kick it. <laughs> If you don't kick it, I'm kicking you out of the club. Uh, Come on, hurry up. One more. There you go, thank you. Yes, let's go! Let's go, Pele. Finish. Pele. 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 But yeah, man, that, that, that's just something you can do in the game with the right D-pad. I'm not sure if this is patch, but the, goal, the, the corner kick one is definitely patch. Um, this is something you can try if you want to. It's not a, I mean, I guess it will throw the goalkeeper out a little bit, but that's something that EA should have patched a while ago. People can also do this on, uh, on, um, on uh, kickoff. They can actually spam the D-pads and actually go in and actually tackle the player and take the ball away from him. Not sure why EA hasn't patched that. That has been the game since the beginning, and people haven't really complained about it because it's not it's nothing that massive. People are complaining about, you know, the cam glitch, the goalkeeper animation, stuff like that, and then for foot, you know, the usual uh, 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 EA aids they have in the game. But for foot, they didn't really change that much. They changed a couple of things in the you know pause menu and stuff like that. Uh, players weren't able to add both a normal player item and concept player item in the same squad building. That's something they fixed. Now you were able to do that. But yeah, that is pretty much it in general. Again, they did add five boots for pro clubs, which I have no idea why would they add this. I can't wait for World of JCC's video on uh, this week uh, video. Uh, that he's going to be probably talking about because that's something that's annoying. If you guys haven't subbed to World JCC's uh, JCC yet, make sure you guys sub to the channel. He is close to 50k. Make sure you sub to his channel and move FIFA Tricks to send you a very good personality for the pro clubs and the uh, FIFA community. Um, but yeah, 
that is pretty much it for this video. There's not nothing much we can talk about. Uh, they removed hyphen from a team, which I have no idea why that is important. But I guess they did that for the text concept of things. And I guess they probably changed their name in real life. But that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 19 content in the future. And we will see you guys on the next video.